I'm Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this week with freelance cartoonist, the one and only Fiona Katowska. It's a very warm welcome oh. to a new world order. I know, and it's fantastic because about a year ago I put 10 bucks on Donald Trump to be president of the US and now I'm a bajillionaire. <laughs> Trump rhymes with a lot of things, which is lucky for the newspapers because uh, they certainly covered it in a variety of ways oh, yeah. around the world. What does uh, this is a, is well, a this Mexican? Well, this is paper. Mexican. A, a temblar means you know a tremble. I think. Right. Yeah. We are trembling. We are. Yeah. Yeah. As the shadow of the wall comes over them. The journal in Montreal. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, and this is one of my favourites. Oh right? yeah. Well, this is a this is a German newspaper. I can speak a bit of German, so I know that says. Please not the, but I'm not sure what horror clown <laughs> is. And um, uh, the Newcastle Herald has gone with the Obama poster uh, with just help and um, um, liberation in France has gone trump Trumpocalypse. Which uh, it doesn't sound very French, but uh, look, for my way of thinking, I think the Daily Telegraph in Sydney kind of nailed it with WTF. Yeah, but they've also covered their bases here with will Trump flourish. Right. So they're not necessarily saying it's bad. I, I, I see, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad you explained that. <laughs> <laughs> it's much clearer now. Fiona, as far as peak awkward went, it must have been tough for uh, Obama to invite the guy who, for the last few years of his presidency, was leading the uh, the birther movement. Yeah. Welcome to my house person who's just been calling me a, a Kenyan Muslim for the last eight years yeah. and claiming I'm illegitimate. Yes, yeah. it's uh... one of the one of the tougher things. There, there's probably a German word for that. I'd like to know <laughs> the German word for it. Yeah, involving horror clown. <laughs> I did like this from Mark Knight, Hair Force One. Yeah. Oh. Her hair apparent to the uh, presidential throne. I know it's, it's just, it captures him, doesn't it, yeah, in it so does. many ways. And I wonder if it'll catch on. I wonder if we'll be seeing, you know, copycat. This, to me, just took the cake. I saw it the next morning. I think everyone felt a bit like that. Yeah. Uh, good morning, America, as Lady Liberty wakes up wondering what in God's name's happened. Yes, well, she must be gropable, mustn't she? <laughs> but, uh, we all know here in Australia that David Rowe is a genius, but pop star Rihanna, Instagrammed his cartoon and on Thursday afternoon, I think it had like 1.4 million likes. Yeah, and like climbing through climbing. the roof. It was fantastic. So, yes, good work, David. Good work, David. Well, uh, we apparently were on the uh, phone list before uh, Great Britain, which caused much consternation, apparently, uh, uh, over in the old country. Excellent. Well, yeah. great and powerful friend. Yeah. Boom. It was a warm conversation, he told us. A warm conversation about 10 times. Well, I he said. looks like he's feeling the warmth here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creeping yeah. up. Yeah, creeping. Fine. <laughs> now, you had to do this before the result. Yeah, yeah, well, I had to submit my cartoon on Tuesday, so I assumed that it was all going to be over and that Hillary would win and then we could go back to focusing on Australian politics. You know, so uh, my cartoon's got, uh, thank God it's over as people go through the crazy roller coaster ride of uh, the US election and then down into the house of horrors that is the uh, Australian upper house. Fiona, many in the media called the US election wrong and some people very close to home here. Very close to home. So, uh, I'm going to take one for the team. All right then. Back to you, Barry. We've all got some egg on our face, Baz, <laughs> haven't we? The ABC's budget only ran to one egg, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs>